Meteorologist Joe Hansel with an update of your national forecast. And let's begin in the tropics as we are watching Hurricane Jose very closely in the middle of the Atlantic. Still well east of the Bahamas, north of Puerto Rico. As it's a Category 1 storm with max winds of 75 miles per hour with the latest update. And the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center has it making that loop and kind of still staying out to sea in the Atlantic, weakening as a tropical storm over the weekend, early next week. And we have very optimistic things going on in the long-term weather models. It keeps it out, out to sea in the long term. And this is a welcome sight. Obviously, we hope models continue to the trend that way. We do not need another uh, hurricane making landfall in anywhere the U.S. or Canada. In terms of watches and warnings for Wednesday, still widespread flood issues in the southeast for states like Florida, Georgia, eastern South Carolina. And quite a bit of air quality alert issues scattered across the area as well. For the Dallas metro area, Houston, San Antonio, the OKC metro area as well, all of Montana under an air quality alert today. Also areas of Washington State and northern Oregon, red flag warning southwest Montana near the Rockies for that wildfire threat. And also, first time of the season, got herself a winter weather advisory, winter storm watch out there in areas of the Rockies. They're watching for three to six inches of snow up in the Rockies, around six, 7,000 feet of elevation Thursday evening through Saturday morning. In terms of thunderstorms, few areas across the nation thunderstorms are possible. Nothing strong or severe expected Wednesday. Different story Thursday, though, where there's a little bullseye across the four corners of a marginal risk in the dark green shade. Also areas of the Dakotas, northern Minnesota, and head of a cold front, Minneapolis, underneath the widespread marginal risk of severe weather. As we round out the week into Friday, where we could see around three quarters of an inch of rain through Saturday morning near the Minneapolis metro area, over an inch potentially across areas of Montana and North Dakota. That would be welcome. They're under drought. Still out there, that hot ridge breaks down with a cold, cold front dropping south of the Canadian border. That'll give us chances of rain showers and thunderstorms, you bet, and eventually some mountain snow and out to the east as well, some rain showers lingering across the Ohio.